All right, just saw this thing was just uh, streamed not long ago, a little over an hour ago. The White House announces historic Israeli-United Arab Emirates peace deal. And for many years, uh, evangelical Christians have been teaching that the Antichrist would sign a peace deal between the Jews and the Muslims. So you mark my words, you watch what I'm saying, listen to me. Um, the modern churches, church building people are going to absolutely flip out and they're going to say, here it is, the peace deal between the Jews and the Muslims, the rapture is going to happen or we've missed the, the rapture or something. This is a major end times event and whatever else, and no, it's not. Let me show you actually what the scripture says. Hebrews, or excuse me, Daniel chapter 9, not Hebrews, <laughs> Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the ablation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Okay, it's talking about the Antichrist there. The man of sin, the son of perdition, the beast, all their different titles for the same man that's coming in the future. Okay? Donald Trump is not the Antichrist. Um, he isn't the one that did this deal. Okay, these other guys around him here were the ones, and uh his effeminate little sissy uh, son in law there, uh, that you know, doing this little hip thing with the jacket that doesn't close quite right or you know, it looks too small or something. I hate modern styles that effeminize things, but whatever. Um, the whole point is, he's the one that did it, and he's not the Antichrist. Okay, the Antichrist is going to look like Jesus Christ. He's going to war, be worshipped. All right. Uh, so, but see, the, the the modern churches are going to go off on this whole thing because this teaching, this false teaching, uh, has been out there for so long. All right now, what do I teach? What do I believe? Well. Let's look at Revelation chapter 17. Let's see the tie-in. Revelation ties in with the book of Daniel. You have to make the two line up with each other. Okay? And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth, earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman... A woman sit upon a scarlet collared beast. Okay? Um, it's a woman that controls the beast. And you go into who this woman is here, and it says that the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet collar. Now, there's only one church in the world whose uh, higher class of, you know, cardinals and archbishops are in red, scarlet, and purple. It's the Vatican, right? So who's this, this, you know, the Vatican controls the Antichrist. They control the beast, in other words. Um, you know, she's sitting on the solid, scarlet collar beast. The Vatican system controls the Antichrist, essentially. Um, so then who confirms the covenant? If the beast is controlled by the Vatican, then um, I think it would be the Vatican, not the United States. And, and the United States is just one of the little pawns of the Vatican. Remember up here, the kings of the earth have committed fornication with this whore. Okay, the great whore. So it's just these guys are all servants of the Vatican. Again, I don't know who a lot of these guys are, but Donald Trump was trained at Fordham University. Don't forget that. All these people that call themselves Christians. Well, I think Donald Trump's a great man. He was trained by the enemy. Okay. You get down to his core beliefs and teachings, he's just a servant of the Vatican. That's all he is. Well, I mean, oh, oh no, I don't, can't agree. Well, then why would he send his two sons to Jesuit schools? He went to a Jesuit school and sent his two sons to Jesuit schools. And he's completely surrounded by Jesuits and Catholics and Papists of all kind. Don't forget it. right? Um, this whole thing here, this historic Israeli UAE peace, UAE peace deal, it says nothing to do with Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. But mark my words, the churches out there are going to go absolutely ballistic, and they're going to say, this is it, this is it. It's not it, okay? Do not be deceived by this.